a random sample of 100 recorded deaths in the United States during the past year showed an average of 71.8 years. Assuming a population standard deviation of 8.9 years, does this seem to indicate that the mean life span today is greater than 70 years? Use a 0.05 level of significance. Okay. First, go to the given information. You see we have 100 here. 100 is the sample size. So you can write down sample size n equal 100. So then we go to the this 71.8 that is the average sample average which is x bar x bar equal 71.8 71.8 then uh, population standard deviation uh, population standard deviation which is sigma equal 8.9 and this uh, level of significance which is alpha equal 0 0.05 now write the null and alternative hypothesis okay go to the claim what is the claim this mean life span today is greater than 70 years it means h naught mu equal 70 mu equal 70 which is null hypothesis then alternative hypothesis which is h a should be the claim what is the claim mu greater than 70 so mu greater than 70 okay, so that is the null and alternative hypothesis then calculate the test statistic okay what is the uh, what are the given information okay sigma we it mean population standard deviation we know the population standard deviation therefore we should use the z test z naught equal x bar minus mu naught divided by sigma over root n we know x bar x bar is given uh, 71 71.8 minus mu naught mu naught is the mu value and dash naught it is here 70 divided by sigma 8.9 and n sample size 100 so you can uh, calculate this value it is 2.02 .02. so this is the value of the test statistic the z naught then asking find the p value how do we find the p value so this is the right tail test you see because of this here this is a right tail so we consider the test statistic value here 2.02 .02. then we should find the area under the curve and above this, uh, this axis so this is the p value so how do we find the area okay p value p value equal probability or proportion and this area mean greater than 2.02 .02, right in this direction all the values are greater than 2.02 uh, .02. therefore z values greater than or equal 2.02 but then we um, should go to the z table but the 
you know our z table gives the area from the left hand side something like this this area but we are looking for the area the right hand side opposite side so therefore because of table we should write down probability 1 minus probability z less than or equal 2.02 okay so now uh, go to the z table okay this is the z table as i explained before you see the area is given from the uh, left hand side corner so we are looking for probability z less than or equal 2.02 therefore go to the 2.02 z 2.02 so this is the positive 2.0 is this and 2 will be over here so then you see 2.02 value is the point 9783 okay we know now this value 1 minus probability point 9783 so you can subtract you can subtract um, that is 0 0.0217 so this is the p value then asking what is the decision and conclusion okay to get the decision we should compare p value with alpha so let me explain p value actually this one point oh two one seven and alpha point oh five the level of significance alpha so you see point of five always greater than p value it means we reject h naught we reject h naught at alpha equal point of five so h naught is rejected what is the meaning of this it means this h naught this is not true this is rejected it means we should go with this therefore we can conclude that uh, the mean life span today is greater than 70 years okay now they are asking uh, give a 95 give a 95 confidence interval I mean confidence interval so again you know uh, sigma is known sigma is known it is given so therefore we can use the equation x bar plus or minus z star z star sigma over root n sigma over root n okay now how do we find the z star we know all the terms but z star how do we find the z star look at this one here you see the normal so actually 95 percent confidence level right 95 therefore this middle part middle part should be 95 this middle part should be 95 if this is 95 then this I mean this plus this should be 5 percent right because area of the uh, uh, under the curve equal 1 so this one 95 percent need the middle part this is a 95 percent therefore this plus this should be 5 percent therefore one part should be point o to 5 it means 5 divided by 2 okay therefore this also 0 0.025 because this is symmetric now again go to the z table okay now we are again in uh, z table you know we are looking for 0 0.025 it means that is the area okay area those is the probability so 
these are the probability value in the middle of the table here so probability values so now check the this number 0.025 you see we have 0.025 in here actually if we can't find the 0.025 then we can find the the closest number then what is the position of this actually z value corresponding to this this is a negative 1.9 and torque value is 0.6 therefore our z star this z star equal negative 1.96 okay and you know now this is the z star here equal negative 1.96 therefore this should be positive value of the same 1.96 okay now we know the all information uh, for this so x bar x bar equal 71.8 plus z star plus or minus z star 1.96 and sigma 8.9 divided by square root of 100 so from this you can get the 7.06 and 7 73.54 actually 70.06 and 73.54 this is the confidence interval uh, 95 confidence interval for the mean